Hi friends, Netherlands is one of the study abroad destinations for international students because of its friendly immigration rules for international students. This great university is one of the cheapest universities I've seen so far in Netherlands. Interestingly, you do not need an application fee to apply to admission and within 12 business working days, you will be notified on the status of your application. Aside having low tuition fee, they have numerous general scholarships for international students and most importantly, they offer over 30 programs including masters and undergraduate programs which are taught solely in English language, which international students are recommended to apply to and stated on their official website. If your previous education was taught in English from the eligible countries, then you don't have to submit IELTS or TOEFL. Just so you know, you do not apply to any university without first visiting the immigration website of that school, which I have done for you already. This university is one of the government accredited schools in Netherlands that is eligible to offer international student orientation visa upon graduation. This visa allows you to live and work legally in Netherlands for one year after graduation, just like postgraduate work permits in Canada. But amazingly, you do not need to evaluate your transcript before using it for application. You can apply with a stamped and signed copy of your transcript issued to you by your previous institution as they regard it as official in this school. Isn't that interesting? Now I'm going to show my screen to elaborate on the documents needed for application, deadline for application for international students, how to navigate through the website to get the English thought programs. Do not worry, it is very simple. And most importantly, the link to click on to apply as an international student, as it is different from that of domestic applicants. And those with HND, that is higher national diploma, can apply to the master's program. So whether you have bachelor's degree or HND, you can apply to your desired graduate programs in this school. Thank you for subscribing. I'm here to make your study abroad easier. My name is Kelechi. If you are new here, the aim of my channel is to share with you universities and colleges that offer international students automatic scholarships and require no application fee. It takes a lot of time to get this done. So I've decided to make your life easier so that people who do not have the finance to study abroad are not left behind. A lot of study abroad opportunities have been shared on this channel and feedbacks from people have been really amazing. Apart from going through the study abroad journey myself, I have assisted and continue to guide a lot of international students to their dream schools and programs, including scholarships. Please guys, don't forget to hit the like button. It gets me motivated to do more valuable content for you. Subscribe and remember to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever I post video. On the official website of the university, we start with the application deadline. And after now, I will demonstrate how to get into the official website through your browser or Google. And the name of the university is Hans University of Applied Sciences. As you can see right here, if you're a student needing visa and or a resident permit, that is non-EU student, international applicant, then the deadline for application is 1st June. However, if you are from Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, Iran, and Sri Lanka, the deadline to apply for admission in this school is 1st of May, 2024. Please kindly subscribe, like, and share to your friends and network who are also scholarship aspirants. We rise by lifting others. Then that takes us to the programs that this university offers. All you need to do is to click on this menu right here. When you click on it, you click on study programs. It's going to take you to this page, which you can see right on my screen. Depending on your situation, if you are going for bachelor's degree, you, you highlight this one. If you are going for master's, you highlight this one. Then for the English language thought programs that I talked about, all you need to do is to select English right here. When you select English, then you come over to education type and highlight bachelor's and master's depending on the one you are going for. Then for international students, of course, you have to click on full-time programs. And you can see they have about 32 programs taught in English in this university. All you need to do is to click on show results. Then you can see the programs that they offer here. They have architecture, master's, classical music, creative media and game technology, data science for life sciences, design, electronics, energy for society, fine arts, interdisciplinary business professional program, international business, 
international business that is a three-year program, international communication, international facility management, international finance and control, international art practices, marketing management, master in international business and management, master international communication, master of music, materials and artistic practices, mechanical engineering, mechatronics, media art design and technology, painting, physiotherapy, popular culture, renewable energy, sport studies, smart system engineering, sensor technology, sustainable energy system management. Then for those interested in master's program in this school, do not rule out a program by the program's name. Maybe because, for example, this master's of data science for life sciences don't just assume because of you had data science maybe you are thinking it's only for those from tech background or those that studied computer science in their undergraduate if you have a background in biology chemistry you are also allowed to apply and the only way you will know the list of field of study that they accept for a particular master program is to click on that particular program then it will take you to the web page of that program you will see entry requirement then you go through the list of eligible field of study that are allowed to apply for that particular program and this takes us to the requirement for admission application or the documents you need for admission application all you need to do is when you must have identified your desired program you click on that particular program Let, let's take for instance master in data science for life sciences clicking on it will take you to the web page of the program that is data science for life sciences so it is a two-year program and it's going to be taught in english which you can see right here and the start date is september then you scroll down click on admission and application you will see some drop down menu here admission requirement you click on this button so to confirm what i was explaining previously you are eligible for admission to this master's if you have a bachelor's degree from one of the following programs you can see the list of the program then down here for international students you can see that if you have a degree that have a background in biology life sciences informatics or equivalent then you are eligible to apply if you also have a degree in electrical engineering sensor technology then you are also eligible to apply then for language requirement so you can see here that they accept IELTS TOEFL and Cambridge advanced exam English then when you scroll down if you obtain a diploma at an English taught institution within the EER then you have to prove that your prior education was full-time english taught by providing a statement from the school signed and stamped confirming that the medium of instruction and examination was entirely in english so you only have to check if your country is part of the eer countries then you are good to go you don't need IELTS or tough and also if you obtained a diploma or you studied in australia canada the english-speaking part of canada ireland new zealand united kingdom or the united states of america then you don't need to submit IELTS or TOEFL. Then that takes up the required document. So when you scroll down, you click on required document, you can see that you only need documented proof of knowledge and skills in the disciplines of programming, data science and biology and related programs. Remember, demonstrated proof is either a diploma, a certificate, a portfolio or a sufficient grade of the entry test. Anything you don't understand, any section you don't understand or any information at all you don't understand kindly ask your question in the comment section i'm always ready to answer your questions so you have to submit your degree certificate your diploma certificate cv or portfolio as a proof of knowledge and skills for any of the program you're applying to application deadline i've talked about application deadline so we won't be going into that before we move into tuition fees here i will show you how to calculate to know the particular fee you'll be paying we would first explore the scholarship section when you click on scholarship do not worry for the sake of this video i'm using masters in data science every program has similar section that is entry requirements scholarship and so on then when you click on scholarship masters in data science for life sciences offers various scholarships to eligible students the scholarship include the holland scholarship or new zealand scholarship and the hanze scholarship and for you to be eligible for this scholarship you must have met the general entry requirement which i've already explained previously then for the, specifically for this new zealand scholarship which is formerly known as holland scholarship you must have gotten a minimum of 7.0 for ielts or this score for TOEFL. 
and a CGPA with a minimum of 7.5 out of 10. So for this CGPA, as majority of countries, the CGPA scale is on 5.0 scale. So all you need to do is to move down to the description box of this video. You will see a link where you will have to click and to compare your country to the Dutch CGPA scale. So for people from Nigeria, as Nigeria use the same grading scale as, as the UK, you can use the UK as a guide. Same goes to Hans scholarship. For you to be eligible for this scholarship, you must have scored IL 7.5 and a CGPA minimum of 8.0. However, for this 7.5 CGPA on a scale of 10 is around 2-1 or second class upper division for the countries that you use that type of grading system. And that takes us to the tuition fee section. So you need to know how much you are to pay for your tuition fee. All you need to do is to come over to this search button here, type tuition fees or frequently asked question tuition fee it will take you to this page then you see what does it cost to study at hence university of applied sciences the good thing for this school is that you can pay in six installments clicking on what does it cost to study at hence university of applied sciences you will see calculate your tuition fee for the academic year using this tool you click on that link you scroll down to calculate your tuition fees for 2024 2025 depending on the study program you would want to enroll into click accordingly as i'm interested in masters i will click on master which form of study program you click on full time of course as an international student do you have one of the following nationalities depending on your situation you click accordingly you click on no as an international applicant do you hold one of the following dutch resident permits you click no do you hold a resident permit type one which entitles you to student finance depending on situation you click no you can see what you need to pay as tuition fee which is 9049 euro for enrollment as of september the start of the academic year that takes us to how to apply all you need to do is to click on your desired program it will take you to that program web page i'm still using data science from life sciences as an example once you click on your program you scroll down you will see apply for this program you must see it for your own program apply for this program you click on that button clicking on it will take you to this particular page which is known as the study link page you will see step-by-step -step plans that is the step-by-step -step process on how to apply you will see things like create account in study link with digid as an international student the only link you have to click is on this one create account in study link without dig ID because international students you only apply with your email address and username that you generated at the first time you want to start your application so all you need to do is to click on this download button it's going to download the step-by-step -step process on how to apply as an international student clicking on that download button specifically for international applicants you will get to a document like this which is the step-by-step -step instruction on how to apply without dig id so all you need to do is to before you commence your application you go through it it's just self-explanatory you go through it you see red arrows directing you on what to click and what not to click then when you are done learning how to apply as an international student you then move back to that same web page that opened when you click on apply to this program which is this particular page when you click on it when you come back to that particular page that is that page you downloaded that step by step instruction you will see a link here click here to go to study link directly when you click on this link which you can see right on my screen it's going to take you into the application portal which is this particular page welcome to study link you will then scroll down you will see login with dig this is for domestic applicant then you scroll down to which you can see already international students don't have dig yet yes you don't have it all you need to do is to create an account then follow that instruction that you already downloaded put your email address username password and all that generate your login details and begin your application how do they get into the official website of this university all you need to do is to use your browser chrome or whatever browser you're using type hence university of applied sciences you click enter the first one you can see it right here hence university of applied sciences you click on it clicking on it will then take you to the official website of the school which you can see right here you already seen the logo so if it is taking you to a different school without this particular yellow icon here you know it's the wrong school 
So hence University of Applied Sciences in this city located in um, Netherlands. So this is the official website and how I got into the official website.